So, if you see me in this jacket a lot from now on, it's because it's cold and all my jackets are missing randomly somehow. Um, but this morning I wonderfully got woken up to by Griffin throwing up. So if you're a parent or you have animals, you know the worst thing in the world is being woken up to a child or a pet throwing up. Sorry, I'm putting my shoes up and getting different ones out. Um, so yeah, I had to clean that up. Then I couldn't fall back asleep. So I just edited today's vlog, the one that's going up yesterday. And yesterday for y'all, today for me. And got super excited because my stabilizer is coming in today. Um, it's really cheap, so I don't even know if it'll work. It was like $15, and I just, I'm really shaky of a person, so I wanted to get one. But that's exciting. About to go to work. Gonna do some Christmas shopping today. And study for my anatomy exam, because I put it off yesterday. Yada, yada, yada. Just wanted to look at cars and houses instead. Anyways, that's a story for another time. But gotta take Griffin out. Go get some food for breakfast because I literally have no food in my house right now that can actually make a meal for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. But since it's so close to like Christmas time and I'm going home and like I'm only going to be in my apartment for like three to four more days, I don't want to spend money on groceries that are just going to go bad, you know? So I end up eating out a lot, but I do that anyways. So, yeah. Gonna put on my shoes, take Griffin out, and get to work. Hey y'all, so I just finished up with work, and now I am at Target again, so I can get my mom's Christmas present, maybe Brad's Christmas present, and just some necessities for life. But yeah, so I will get those and catch y'all on the flip side. Hey y'all, so today I put together some, I went to Target, obviously, and um, got some presents for people. And you know it's a sad day whenever you get paid and you spend your entire paycheck um, getting presents. But I get to give gifts to people, so that's always fun. Um, but I got this really cute wrapping paper in bags. Target really always has cute things. But this is my mom's. And then with Brad's family, we're doing like a onesie secret Santa. So this is for that. And also, I got Brad's gift, but I'm not going to show y'all that, even though I think it's super cute. Um, but at Target, they had these really cute little tags in this little, like, paint tin looking thing. And there's, like, lots of them, and they're cute. There's 50 of them. But I can't figure out how to get it open. Like, I tried to open it from the top, and just like, like a normal paint can. Um, but it hurt my finger really bad. So, I don't know. We'll see if I can get into that. But... Yeah, so I wanted to share that with y'all. Watching Go More Girls, as always. And I'm about to take Griffin to Petco to get a toy and food, because he's out of food. And every time I, like, take him there, I always just end up getting him a toy, because he goes through toys so fast, because it's Griffin. Um, but yeah, so I might bring y'all there, maybe not, depending on how busy it is. And yeah, I say and yeah all the time. Um, but that's about it. So I'll catch y'all on the flip side. So we just went to Petco, and here's Griffin, and they have the cutest toy I have ever seen, and it's indestructible, it looks like. So, it's this little moose, but it's like plastic, and Griffin tears through fabric toys. Like, I cannot buy him fabric toys anymore, because he tears them up in less than 24 hours. So, if you're a family member, and you're like, oh, Griffin's part of the family, let's get Griffin a present. Don't get him fabric toys. But this is so cute, it's like a little moose. Also, I just realized that I have a smudge on my lens. So every single clip that I filmed today probably has had that smudge too. And there's an alarm going off again. Yeah. So, swag. Got Griffin a new red harness today. Oh, there we go. And look how handsome he looks. Oh, there's his new toy. Look how handsome he looks. Look at him. Okay, bye. Come here. Can you sit down? Mm. Look. Look. Does that feel better than your old one? Yeah. So this is take two of this clip because I looked at it after I filmed this the first time and 
the inside of my lens had fogged up from the humidity and that's not good that happened to me a lot at camp as a photographer and it's the most frustrating thing ever because you think you have a really good shot and then you look at it and you're like oh the lens was fogged good but anyway so i'm here at the salon and i decided randomly to get my hair re-highlighted or darker i haven't decided yet but i've been getting my hair highlighted since i was in high school sometime because it started getting darker in high school whereas i used to be like really blonde when i was younger um but yeah i didn't like going darker earlier like in my years um that sounded really like professional in my years um but i know that when brad and i get married i'm not gonna have like the frivolous like money to spend on getting my hair highlighted every two months so i know i'm just gonna dye it darker then um but i don't know what i'm gonna do today so i'm literally gonna go in there and say do you think this would look better blonder or darker and see what she says and go with her expert opinion because that's normally what i do with my hair um so yeah whenever y'all see the next clip here in a few seconds i'll either be blonder or darker who knows so we'll just see hey guys so i am back from getting my hair done and obviously i went blonder so i'm kind of regretting that decision now but i think it looks fairly decent um i normally hate it right after i get it done anyway so we'll see you in a few days if i like it or not but i hope y'all like it i don't really care if y'all like it because my opinion is the only one that matters but it sounds really like snooty and rude but it's true so yeah but my new hairdo hey you guys so i am going to wrap up the vlog here tonight because it is 10 20 and i am tired and i still have yet to talk to brad tonight and i still need to get ready for bed and take griffin out and lots of things need to happen um but yeah i hope you had a wonderful day and i hope that you've said nice things to people and i want you to be kind to someone today when you're watching this um but yeah that's about it. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you're not already, subscribe to Brad and Mad Vlogs because we would love to have you stick around. Um, but yeah, have a great day and I will catch y'all tomorrow. Bye!